Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. I'm talking about the new expansion of the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters and the Liquid Lipsticks by Fenty Beauty, uh, known as Rihanna's brand. And she released three new liquid lipsticks, otherwise known as her Stunner Liquid Lipstick Paints, if I'm saying that correctly. And she also released uh, two new Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighters. So I'm going to talk about the highlighter that I did pick up. Uh, I wasn't interested in the other shade which is called Chills. I'll insert a picture for you here. And the reason why I wasn't interested in that one is because I do have the Minted Mojito and Sandcastle duo here that she released last summer. And it's kind of icy just like this particular one right here. So I just didn't feel like that one added a lot of value to my collection. But I did pick up What a Brat and it is pretty much like a lavender baby pink and it has some silver glitter reflex in it also and the packaging is standard for the kilowatt highlighters that we have come to know and expect with the brand right here like i said everything is very uniform across the band and i really appreciate that so you get a mirror within there and these retail for uh 34 dollars so let me go back and swatch this for you this is what a brat So this is what a brat. And you could tell it has pink reflex. And it has a base color of pink. And then you could tell it has lots of silver reflex right here. And the outside packaging looks like this, which is standard and uniform also. So the Kilowatt highlighters, you know, they're freestyle and they are for use for cheeks and eyes and anywhere you want to glow, according to Rihanna. And the packaging, um, it says total contents inside is eight grams. And once you open it, it has a shelf life of nine months and the packaging is recyclable. And Fenty, um, I was like, I don't believe Fenty is cruelty free, but I will leave that down below if she is, but I do not think she is. These items did launch today, February 12th, and I braved the elements because it's Chicago, you know, it's like freezing rain, it's snow, it was freezing rain again. No, I really didn't just brave the elements to go to Sephora. I had a doctor's appointment, which was downtown, so Sephora was very close by so no worries there but I did pick these up today inside the store and I was able to swatch the chills highlighter so I'll leave a picture of that too and I like I said I just really wasn't feeling that particular highlighter and then I also picked up the three liquid lipsticks and I know I said I wasn't buying a whole lot of lipsticks this year but I love the Stunna lip liquid lip paint formula so I have the shades unattached unlock and un undefeated okay everything starts with the U with a name because I know you have uncensored you got unveil you got uncuffed this is like the brown one from the launch before so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these and then in this video you're also gonna see a demo with the freestyle highlighter and I do it on my cheeks and my eyes and then you'll also see lip swatches at the very end and we'll talk about the products but right now I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these as you know these retail for $24 so the first shade I have here is unattached and this is a bright coral shade. So this is unattached. I'm never gonna remember any of these names now, now that they're all like starting with the U. I think that idea is so cute, but I, I'm never gonna be able to keep it straight. The next shade we have is unlocked, which looks like this. This is a hot pink. Can you believe it? It's kind of blue based. So this is unlocked with the pink shade. And then the last shade, which is actually the shade that I'm wearing, is a deep plum and it's called Undefeated. And like I said, later on in this video, I will do lip swatches of all three. So go ahead and stay tuned for the demo where I use the freestyle highlighter as an eyeshadow and on my cheeks. And then I'll do the lip swatches and talk about my thoughts about this collection at the end or this these shade expansions to her collection. So I will see you guys in the demo. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this eye demo. I have my eyebrows filled in using the ABH Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Caffeine. And I do have a little bit of the Fenty Concealer on already from earlier in the day and a little bit of mascara from just having to go run my errands, go to the doctor today. So like I said, when I was out, I picked this up. And I'm going to go ahead and prime, like I said, with the Urban Decay Primer Potion because give these the kilowatt highlighters something to stick to. Plus, I'm going to pair a couple of other eyeshadows with it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this out using a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush right here. Okay, so now that we're all blended out, I'm actually going to go in with this uh, It's My Pleasure palette right here from ColourPop. This palette right here, I did a video on it. It will be going up after this video, actually. And it is such a great purple palette. It looks like this if you have not seen it. And it's a little messy. I have a lot of fallout here. I'm like, ooh, I need to wipe it out. My palettes usually don't look like this. Look at all the shadow on there okay but I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna actually use this shade called pretty cruel right here first as a transition shade Th these shades are pretty powdery but they're pretty pigmented as well and this shade unfortunately is a matte and I'm saying unfortunately because it's a matte with glitter I don't know why show you my disdain for it then why <laughs> we have to do this I'm like stop doing it and look like you can't even see the glitter whatever just was on my eye just <sighs> fell away you see it like when I first put it up there and then it just goes away I don't get it <laughs> however <laughs> this is a pretty color and they did the same thing I know in the uh, Sweet Nothings palette. And that palette is pretty purple based also. It's a little bit of a cooler tone purple palette and softer. That one is very comparable kind of to um, Norvina. Has a lot of similarities. I wouldn't say it's a dupe, but it has some similarities. So now as I just like blend this back and forth and have glitter just go places that I don't really want it to go. Okay, so now I got the framework done for my shadows. So now I'm gonna go in with this crease brush and this is from the Sephora Magnetic line. And I'm gonna go in with this shade called Sleeper. This is a deep mauve, rich purpley color. I'm going to stamp that in the crease and then I'll blend it out. And the reason why I'm using this palette, I know Fenty has like pressed shadows, but I don't own any pressed shadows from her. I know she had the Moroccan Spice palette, but I just wasn't really digging it. And I think when it came out, it was just so much other stuff. I was just like, you know what? I'm not really feeling it, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this MAC 224 uh, synthetic brush right here. This is like the dupe to my favorite blending brush, but just not as good because this is one of the new synthetic brushes from MAC. I'm just gonna go ahead, blend out the edges, and blend definitely right here. That's where my primer tends to make my shadow skip. Just blend those two colors into each other. And then I'm gonna go back in with that crease brush with the same shade, Sleeper. We're gonna pick up just a little bit because these shades, they are pigmented, but they are a little powdery. Hence why my palette looks a mess. And I'm just putting this on the inner corner right here. Just so our look is a little bit more complete. Okay. So now that we got our foundation laid down, it's time for the start of the show. And we're gonna go in with what a brat. <laughs> I'm not a brat though. 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, she is pretty. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Moon Dust brush right here. And these brushes are very good for glittery shades like this because if you're familiar with their Moon Dust formula, they are very glittery shadows. This is what it looks like when I pick it up on the brush right here. And I'm just gonna pat this all over the lid where we have this awful space. Okay, ooh, this is pretty. And you know what? It it gives you some opaqueness. It's not just so sheer. But I would think you need a heavier base on just to get uh, full opacity. But it has enough where it's just not like a shimmer, if you know what I mean. Okay, and then I'm going to touch it up on this side, but I'm going to go to this side first. And I have a tiny bit of fallout, but... I did not wet it, so that's to kind of be expected because it is a little bit of glittery. But hey, I got glitter in my matte shade, so you know. This is very pretty. Okay, I do want to see what it looks like when we foil it. So I picked up some of my brush and I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay uh, All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh, okay, it brings out even more of the intenseness. Well, I mean, we know that, we like foiling it, but it does really pack a punch. And I'm just gonna bring it up some. Over, I'm not gonna take it over too far over here because my eyes, as you always know, I have that, that fold right here. And glitter, glitter on this part is just, eh. Okay, unless I have a full out cut crease going. And I'm just gonna, Put that in my in the tear duct and this is very pretty over the shade sleeper I'm really digging the shade I like how it looks it's pink right here and it's opaque and you can see it it has a nice strong base to adhere to and then I like the dimension that we get once we put it over our a uh, a shadow now I'm gonna flick off the glitter and put some liner on and touch up my mascara and I'll be right back okay I'm back so this is the final eye look and I think it came out really pretty I really enjoy the intenseness of the glitter however I would definitely say if you're gonna do your eyes with this uh, kilowatt highlighter make sure you do your base afterwards because the glitter ooh, the the fallout from it is pretty intense, but the first time I did use it, I did not wet my brush. Or just make sure you wet your brush. I did not pick up too much, but like I said, I got glitter particles everywhere. Um, I've taken a brush, I've kind of taken a makeup wipe and just dabbed a little bit. And I've gotten quite a bit off, but around here, I still have lots of glitter. Okay, so I let's go ahead and try on the lipsticks. Oh, but for the... First, I want to go ahead and put a little bit of this on the cheeks. Okay, so I do actually have the Fenty Beauty brush, and I purchased it sometime at, I don't know, not when it initially launched, but at some point I went back and grabbed it. because I thought it was just like an interesting concept for a brush, and I just like how it really hugged this particular area of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the highlighter once again. It looks like this. You can see right there where I've been kind of digging in for the shadow. And I'm expecting this to be very pink, very glittery. So we'll see. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> as far as I, this is like it's rubbing on a straight glue. I'm just shocked. <laughs> I mean, you all see it. It's literally nothing but glitter. I don't know. Like, I thought I would see more color, but I literally just see glitter. Let me see. I'm going to change brushes, and we'll see what we get. 
So I'm going to use this Kristen Siriano brush. It's a little highlight brush and he had a little set and we're going to pick it up with this. See if we can get more color. Okay, we didn't. <laughs> so yeah I wasn't I mean I don't know when I saw the promo shots and when I swatched it I didn't I don't know <laughs> I'm just confused all right like I said I'm confused so anywho all right we're gonna go ahead and try on the lipsticks okay so that <laughs> so I bought all three of the lipsticks because I needed them okay even though I said I wasn't buying a lot of lipsticks this year but I just love this formula so much so these are what the lipsticks look like the packaging and so there were three so we have the shade unattached which is this shade right here and it's more like a hot coral shade so I'm actually very excited for this shade because I really love coral lipsticks but I don't have one that actually looks pretty decent on me at least I tend to think that and then another shade that we have and I think this is the shade that she no this is the deep plum shade and I'm very excited for this shade as well this is the shade called undefeated okay and then the last shade we have here is unlocked so this was the shade that she introduced first and I was like yes I'm getting that and then I was like oh it's three more and some kilowatts yes okay so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and apply these for you This is the shade unattached. <laughs> this is without a lip liner. Yeah, I don't, I love to wear coral, coral, like coral eyeshadow, coral clothing, but I just don't know. Now I will try this with a lip liner, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going in with Old Faithful, meaning chestnut lip liner, and we're gonna see how it helps this shade. Okay, it's starting to dry down. I'm gonna go back in with that chestnut. Here is unattached with just that lip liner. Mm, honestly, guys, I don't know about this particular shade. I think coral lipstick, it's not for me. And I had to dull it down just so much just to make it look okay. And it just kind of takes the whole beauty away of these type of lipsticks. Because this is like something I could have by anybody. So I don't know. So, okay, so I took that shade off. That was the shade, I can't remember these names, unattached. That was the coral shade that looks like this. It did leave a little bit of staining when I tried to take it off the makeup wipe. So just so I don't look crazy, I'm gonna go in with a little of the Fenty Concealer, shade 370. That's the only thing about these liquid lipsticks. You can take them off, kind of go everywhere. Just gonna blend that in. Okay, so hopefully the next two shades will be like, okay <laughs> so this is the second shade and this is called unlock and this is a hot pink. this is the shade unlock now this shade i actually do like i'm waiting for it to dry down so i can see what it's really looking like but this is a shade I can get behind. Like, I knew it was going to be bright. I knew it was going to be pink. I 
Uh, I have the other pink lipstick in her collection in the Matte Moselle formula, but that formula is just done. But I honestly do like this color. Okay, our last shade, and my lips are like, girl, yes, please, what are you doing to me? <laughs> it's the shade Undefeated, and this shade is a nice dark plum. Okay, so I'm back, and this is Undefeated. My memory card um, became full, so if you saw the swatch kind of cut off. But this is Undefeated, like I said before, and this is actually my favorite swatch. So I'm going to keep this on because I'm really liking this color. I said favorite swatch. It's my favorite lip. But I'm going to keep this on, and let's talk about all the products. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the products that I picked up. So first, I'm going to start with the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. And I got the shade that was called What a Brat. And actually, like my lady is inverted on the back uh, usually it's the right side up so when I open it I could just open it like this but I actually have to flip it over so at, just to give you a reminder this is what the shade looks like it's kind of like a baby pink uh, shade with some lilac in it and it has lots of glitter reflects in it and it's the shade that I put on my eyes but as far as it on my cheeks I'm really <laughs> not a fan of it on my cheeks on my eyes I think it's gorgeous and I really, really love the way my eye look turned out. However, on my cheeks, I'm like, no. I just thought it was just going to be a little bit more pigmented. Like, I, would, I expected some of the glitter, but I just didn't expect this much glitter. And this is literally, like, just straight-up glitter on my face. Just, I don't know. And it's different because, like, I have Trophy Wife, and... Trophy Wife just seems so different versus this particular shade right here. Like, up close, I just feel like, A, I look a mess, A, because I have a little bit of staining from the lips, watches, but that's a whole nother story. But as far as just the highlight situation, it's just a no-go. But as an eyeshadow, I think it's so beautiful. And it did actually pick up very well over that Urban Decay uh, primer potion and gave some color there because you actually see a baby pink. And I did not have any color right here on this lid. And then when you lay it over like a, a matte shadow, it's even prettier because it just pops on top of that matte shadow and the glitter just, you know, sparkles. And it's so easy. And then I would definitely make sure that you do your face first. I mean, sorry, do your eyes first and then your face if you're going to use this as an eyeshadow. Now, I really just wish that Rihanna would just, if she's going to do, I did more stuff like this. I'm not opposed to it, but I really just want her to cut it down. Like, you know, she has some of those sets where you get like a mini kilowatt highlighter with a gloss bomb. It really needs to be like half of this size four grams, even if she doesn't want to do a split pan. I think that would be so much better. Like maybe if like one of these, if it was the same shape, just half the product and it was $12 or I don't know, just something other than $34. Because a lot of people are not going to buy it, I feel, because they're just like, that's just too much money to spend on one single eyeshadow. Am I happy I have it? Yes. Do I feel like I need to like, I just need to return it? No. So that's just kind of like my litmus test of like, oh no, it's going back. So that's just, I just really want her to cut the product down. Other than that, I really enjoy these using these eyeshadows. I think it's just so glittery and I just, I don't know, I just feel so much different about this one versus the shade Trophy Wife, which is very glittery. I don't know, but I do wear those like fun occasions like if I'm going to a party a concert or I can just kind of get away or I'll put it a little bit more as a topper just to give that extra boost but for this one right here on my cheeks it's a no on my eyes it's a yes so I think it's very beautiful but I will keep it around in my collection now let's talk about the Stunna lip paints so I was super excited so obviously if you saw my expression this shade which is unattached oh it's a no for me okay so it just proves me wrong like coral lipsticks are still not my jam I think I'm just gonna stop trying I'm done I'm not gonna try anymore I'm gonna wear coral clothing and coral eyeshadow that will be it coral lipstick it just did not work for me I think it made my lips look really big and it made it look really fluorescent I put on the chestnut lip liner with it and I think it looked all right but by the time I blended it in with the lip liner and these colors they pack the formula of the sun and lip paint they just pack so much of a punch that to dull it down it just kind of defeats the purpose of 
the liquid lipstick if you get what I'm saying because the formula is a thin formula but it's so highly pigmented just to blend it out like that and just to lose most of the opacity of the color it just doesn't really make sense to me so for this this one is going back to the store because these things you know they're $24 I mean I think they're worth it but this color just did not suit my preferences. I think, you know, if you're into colors like this, I think it's nothing wrong with the formula. I think the color's pretty. I just don't like how the color looks on my complexion. And that doesn't mean anything's wrong with it. It's just not my, it's just not my personal preference. So that's how I feel about this one. But the other two, the hot pink, which is unlocked. I'm like semi-partial to hot pinks, and it just depends on my makeup. Uh, but I do like this color. So I'm definitely excited about this color and have it in this particular formula. I really like the Stunna Lip Pink formula. If you caught my, my current favorite video that went up um, last week, I'll try to remember to link it in the cards. But I have been wearing the brown shade nonstop recently, uh, which is the shade. I love how they're all named with a U, even though I can't remember like any of the names. <laughs> so this is Unveil. And I've been wearing this brown one and it's been so pretty and so comfortable to wear. And unlike, I know a lot of people are not really on the lip, liquid lipstick train anymore, but I still really enjoy them because they just work for my lifestyle. So I just, um, my work schedule has changed. So I'm back to working more frequently now after being injured. And I just like that I can kind of put these lipsticks on and go throughout my whole day, talk to people, and worry, not even worry that I'm looking crazy unless I just really touch my lip and something smells like that. So this is why I still kind of prefer liquid. And then the color that I have on now, which is this Deep Plum, is Undefeated. I love it, hands down. This color is so pretty. I am rocking with it. I am happy to have it. So overall, I think the collection was cute. I think it was fun. I think it was something fresh that, you know, even though this is stuff that's not new to her line, it's just nice to see refreshing products being added. And as her brand grows, like we had the concealers and the setting powders and the foundation line extension earlier this year. And now we're getting the liquid lipsticks uh, line extended. And I think that's a great move for the brand because a lot of people like the liquid lipsticks, unlike the Mademoiselles. And I'm a big fan of them also. And a lot of people love the Kilowatt. I just, Rihanna, make them smaller, girl. Cut, cut it down. Keep it the same size. Make it smaller. Make it like four grams. And people will really be all over it because the shades are unique. And like one of my favorite duos is the uh, Mimosa Sunrise and what is it? Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria, the pink slash orange one. And it is gorgeous. Okay. I love it. And I feel like that particular shade, you can wear it all the cheeks, you can wear the eyes, and that's both shades. And especially with my complexion, that orange as a highlighter looks divine. However, just really cut these down and this will be even more of an A plus, you know, in my book because right now I'm just like, I cannot wear this on my cheeks. There's no way in the world, but on my eyes, yes, I'm rocking with it. But if I think about it and it's just a sense of an eyeshadow, this is an expensive eyeshadow. Okay. So let me know your thoughts on the collection down below. Are you picking up anything? Uh, did anything catch your eye? Just let me know down below in the comments and give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And can turn your notification bells on because my upload schedule is kind of changing. I'm going to kind of down to like two videos a week, but there will be some bonus videos in between. Um, so just keep your notifications on so you know when I upload. And please subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here today. And you know I gotta hit my chair dance. And if you guys are wondering where my chair dance came from, it came from my very first video. So the story on the chair dance is A, I like to dance. I love to dance. I, if you ask anybody I know, they'll be like, oh, it's Ashley loves to dance. But when I uploaded my very first YouTube video, I was just so ecstatic that I filmed my video and I was just like, I did it, I did it, I, I, I did it. So I just always incorporate my chair dance at the end of the video. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.